questions that you would like to see turn into a mini soap, we'll post them on our blog under the latest mini soap and we'll answer the best ones. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Right is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. Welcome to another episode of Film Right, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. Today we're going to show you how to make a head go boom and an go crowd. Today we're going to show you the sketch we shot last week, along with a pretty cool effect that goes with it. Today we're going to be teleporting, playing with some reverse effects, and having Film Riot's very first a steamy shower scene. On today's awesome episode, we're going to show you how to build a DIY jib for around $100. Today, we're going to get a little cutthroat, and later, projectile vomiting. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into your favorite Hollywood films. Welcome to Film Riot, a show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques that go into some of your favorite Hollywood films. Today on Film Riot, we're going to show you how to turn this into this. Today on Film Riot, we're continuing our stretch of DIY DIYing with some more DIY gear, which will be a DIY light stand. We get this egg through this little hole, I don't, I don't through this root beer bottle. Oh, it's oh, 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 See crap happens! What a hurricane weather! What are you gonna do? And I guess now it's time to go ahead and um Make it rain, play Make it rain! I got the idea to uh, start a filmmaking show that would kind of show how to with zero budget and hopefully progress with my career, which is what Film Riot has become. It's a present. It's not a present. It's not a present. That's brilliant. I know. Get it, 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 get it
we flew in the day before the event and drove right to Sigma, which is where we were going to be putting it on. And we were able to set things up and sort of run through things the day before to really tighten everything up. And Sigma's location is great. They have this Japanese garden sort of set that's just there all the time. So if you ever want to go there and test out lenses, you can absolutely do that and utilize that set. But Chase Smith, my DP, of course, came along with us to help out with that presentation to do all the lighting. So him and the Aperture team went to work getting everything prepped for that. Then that night we went to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because I mean, Tarantino. The next day we arrived really early, prepped things, and at 5.30 the doors opened and of course the event started again with that video that we showed at the beginning of the episode. After that we did a short interview with Ted and then went right into the presentation, which was a mixture again of cinematography and directing. We had some great talent there that we were able to use and it was the idea of these three different sections and putting them together in different ways. The first one being sort of a daylight exterior thing with two actors, no dialogue, but convey a moment. The second one, a nighttime exterior sort of look and doing something in a one -er. Of course, everything was going wrong as it does always on set. And that's kind of what I wanted to do with the event and the presentation was not really prep what we were gonna do. Everybody knew what we were gonna do, but we didn't rehearse it because I knew if we didn't rehearse it, things would go wrong and I wanted to show that. I didn't want everything to be this polished idea that we rehearsed 20 times and it just looks like, look at that, we nailed it. I wanted it to go wrong so during the presentation you could see how nothing's working and on the fly we're having to come up with brand new ideas to try to make the original idea work and that's exactly what happened. Then the final setup was of course my favorite which was a fight scene. The talent we had there were actually stunt performers so they were able to put together a fight scene and we did that live, shot that live, did a bit of tweaking to it live and it really made me want to do that again. Do an event where we do an action scene live and then just refine that action scene in front of an audience and maybe together with you guys. I don't know. It's got it's got the wheels turning and we're thinking about the next one now. After that, we had a Q&A and then of course stuck around to meet everyone. And it was just such a great time and really great meeting everybody. And it was the first time that we had a straight up Film Riot event where everybody there uh, was a part of the Film Riot community. And there was something really exciting and special about it. So again, definitely something we wanna do in the future. But there was no way that we could have pulled any of this at all if it wasn't for the amazing people who helped us put this event on, which of course Aperture really put on the entire event. They stepped up and help us made this happen. And I can't thank you guys enough. You were all incredible and really the only reason this happened at all. Then we have Sammy Cinema Works who came in with a ton of gear and Sigma who again, let us use their amazing venue for the event. Then we also had a key grip, Jason from T-Rex Lighting who rigged up all of our lights and made sure everything was safe. So again, thank you to everyone who made it happen and a big thank you to everyone who came out. Otherwise it just would have been an empty room and that, that would have been embarrassing. But it's something that we definitely want to do again. So hopefully, you'll be hearing about a new event very soon. But that's it. We just wanted to give you guys a look at the event. And if you haven't heard from August 10th through the 18th, we have our Blockbuster summer sale. We're gonna have crazy low prices on our brand new store, which if you also haven't heard, we're now calling Triune Digital. We have a whole new look. So definitely go check all that out and don't miss the sale. Super low prices on that. And an ad, which you'll find below where Josh plays. I, I don't even know what kind of character. What accent are you using? In I don't, I no. Somebody asked that and I was like, you know what? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Also be sure to follow Trying Store on Instagram. And if you use any of our stuff for your projects, tag us on Instagram. We're reposting people. And if we do repost you, we're giving you free stuff from our store. But that's it. Until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.